Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Soji Gray and welcome to another episode of Quick View. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that anytime any video is released, you're going to be updated instantly. So I previously made a video on my best Android launches of 2019. That video did so well, but then I realized that no one has actually done a video on the best minimal Android launches available. So I just decided to do a video to let you know three of my best minimal android launches and you know minimal launches are not so common and i feel if you want to be a minimalist say you want to get something done so easily or you want your uh, your home screen to be free from clutter instead of you having a setup you can actually get a launcher that is minimal so without further ado let's jump into the video Niagara launcher is the first minimal launcher I want to talk about. This launcher is very pleasant to look at and I really love how it gives you the option to arrange some apps in your home screen. If you do want to rearrange them, you can easily do so, but if you also want to add or remove some from your favorite home screen apps, you can easily do so. I really love the fact that with Niagara launcher, you can, you know, have beautiful wallpapers and kind of appreciate it more. Uh, as compared to other launchers whereby you'd have to put some widgets that are eventually going to block the wallpaper This launcher gives you a very open screen to show off your wallpaper And I really love this about Niagara launcher If you want to access the rest of your apps, all you have to do is swipe the alphabet at the right side of the home screen And it's very easy. I love that it's very intuitive. You can just swipe through and get to the app you want to go to. I really love the fact that you can also interact with notifications right in the app section. So all you have to do is swipe on top of the app and you can uh, interact with the app. So for example, I have the Twitter app here. A friend just said something. I can just swipe on the Twitter app and then I can see the feedback. I can even close the notification without having to go to my notifications panel. So I really love that feature on Niagara Launcher. You can also customize this launcher easily. It has icon pack support and you can also change wallpapers and you can also change the theme. You can make it a light theme or a dark theme. So these are the things I do love about Niagara Launcher. Let's move on to the next launcher. Before Launcher is my second favorite minimal launcher. Before Launcher is very minimal. I mean, I really love how the home screen looks. If you have an AMOLED screen or if you have an OLED display, you'd really appreciate how your phone is going to look with this launcher. It gives you a maximum of eight apps that you can set up on your home screen and you don't have any icons at all. All you have is nice, beautiful text. And if you swipe to the left, you can access all your notifications and then if you swipe to the right you can access all your applications i love that with this launcher you can actually sort your applications so you can sort it alphabetically and you can sort it how frequent you use a particular app also it can arrange apps according to your install date so depending on when you install the particular app it can show you the date you installed it and arranges in that order which is very great and you can also sort apps according to the size of the app so I really love this feature. So for example, if you want to see apps that take a chunk of your storage space, you can actually choose the sort option and you're going to see all those apps that have huge sizes. And if you want to uninstall them, you can uninstall them easily without going to your settings. One thing to however notice that before launcher does not support wallpapers. So um, if you're someone who loves wallpapers, I would recommend you use Niagara launcher. But um, if you're someone who doesn't want to be distracted by wallpapers, before launcher is ideal for you. Now, although it doesn't have wallpaper support, it does give you the option to change your background into a variety of colors. It has black, it has white, it has brown and blue, amongst other colors. So it gives you some options and some level of customizations to a certain extent. Now, another thing you can customize is how the apps in text actually look on the home screen. You can actually long press to delete an app. You can long press to rearrange how your home screen is going to look so before launcher i mean it's a very minimal launcher one of my favorites so far go download it check it out and let me know what you think about this launcher luna launcher is my third best minimal launcher this launcher is kind of a frankenstein between niagara launcher and before launcher so it kind of borrows features from both niagara and before and i just love how this launcher looks as well it's also a very intuitive app 
and I mean if you want to access your launcher settings all you have to do is swipe left but if you don't want to access all your apps you have to swipe right one thing I like about this launcher is that it has wallpaper support so if you want to show off your wallpaper you can definitely do so with Luna Launcher. Aside wallpaper support, Luna Launcher has levels of customizations. Now, if you go to the launcher settings and then you click icon visibility, it gives you some options which you can use to customize your launcher. So if you want to show the app icon and the app name on your home screen, you can easily do that. Also, if you want to show the app name and the app icon in the app section, you can also do that. However, if you do want to just have the text, you can also do that for the home screen and for the app section. I feel it's a very nice option that Luna Launcher gives. You don't get that on Before Launcher or Niagara Launcher. I also love the fact that you can press the app to delete or add favorites. So it's very simple and there you have it. So thanks for watching this episode of Quick View. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that anytime I release a new video, you're going to be updated instantly. Make sure to like this video and share this video if you did love the video. And also, if you do have any other minimal Android launchers that I didn't mention, make sure to let me know in the comment section and let me know which of the Android minimal launchers you did enjoy using. And let's have a conversation in the comment section down below. It's your boy, Swaji Gray, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay blessed.